Welcome to the ICD-10 2018 Coding Revisions and eThomas video. CMS has recently released the ICD-10 changes for the fiscal year 2018. These changes will apply to all claims with the date of service October 1, 2017 through September 30, 2018. These changes include 360 additions, 142 deletions, and 226 revisions. As with the original ICD-10 list, Genius Solutions has updated the master list within eThomas. eThomas has all the additional codes, the ability to expire deleted codes, and update the revised codes. To update the existing code files, users will need to complete the following steps. Users should update their eThomas prior to billing any claims with the date of service October 1, 2017. The version of eThomas after updating should be 9.5.35 or higher. Additionally, there are some tools that may make managing your diagnosis codes easier. Users are not required to use these tools to update to the 2018 code set. In order to expire old ICD-9 codes or purge unused ICD-10 codes, users can go into the eThomas System Maintenance Program. To access system maintenance, a user would use the same username and password that they use to get into eThomas, choose Login, select the data directory that they currently want to work in, Start, choose Purge and Archive. Off to the left hand side you will see Archive ICD-9 codes. If you select that, you will be brought up a warning that this would expire all the diagnosis codes that do not have an ICD-10 value, which means the codes will still be in your system. However, they will only be shown if you click on Show Expired Diagnosis Codes. Since we no longer use ICD-9 codes on a regular basis, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It will tell you how many ICD-9 codes it was able to expire save and then I'm going to exit out of this screen choose code file maintenance choose my diagnosis codes and purge what this will do is you take any unused ICD-10 codes that are in your system and remove them from eThomas from the your codes what that means is if you imported extra codes when you started ICD-10 or even last year, it will remove them if you have not used them in your system. They still are on the master list and can be imported individually when you choose to either add one on a claim, it will ask you if you want to import it, or through the code files import screen. So go ahead and hit the purge button. It asks you if you're sure that you want to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes and it will tell you that the codes have been purged. Hit OK and then ex exit out of the system maintenance. Users then are able to go back into their eThomas using their normal username and password, choose the correct data directory from any screen, go to the utility tab, choose maintenance, the last option on the list is check diagnosis codes. What this will do is bring up any revised or expired diagnosis codes. So you will see on the master list the expiration date. What it wants to know is which ones do you want to correct. At this point, if you hit replace all, it will update your code files from the master list. It's going to ask you one last time, are you sure you want to do this? Go ahead and click yes. Now that has resolved any expired 
or revised diagnosis codes. That has not added any of the new ones in. To add new diagnosis codes, you can go to your code files, choose procedure, choose diagnosis, and then go ahead and choose the little file with the down arrow for import. On the list, you will notice that we have changed from the 2017 to the 2018 revisions. If you select that, all you will see is the new codes that are added to the system for that specific group of codes. Um, so if your doctors always are reporting A and B codes for infectious diseases, you may want to go ahead and import those. However, keep in mind, as you are posting charges, if you are using a new diagnosis code that has not been loaded from the master list to your code files, it will give you the chance to do so as you are posting charges. Some reminders, each section of codes may have new diagnoses. Please review every category you use for new codes. Make sure to click on the import button after you've selected the diagnosis codes you would like to add. This will make them part of your code files. Keep in mind, diagnosis codes are based on date of service. All claims with the date of service October 1, 2017 or after must use the 2018 coding changes. If you are in need of additional assistance, please contact the Genius Solutions Support Department at 586-751-9080. Thank you.